right, and then we resume our show with the topic spiritual warfare 101 technological warfare let's go ladies 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 join us for another episode of ladies night now today thursday june 23 we will be talking about technological warfare we have already covered serving royally it was such a wonderful topic now we like to highlight our sponsor for this evening gentle care nursing service from philadelphia in pennsylvania for all your home health care needs, contact Gentle Care Nursing Service. They're here to serve you. So if you have someone who's sick at home, if you'd like someone to go in and to take care of the elderly, they also train. They train your family members. If you want to get your CNA certification, you can get it through them. So contact Gentle Care Nursing Service at gentlecns.com or gentlecns at gmail.com. They're there to serve you. Also, if you're interested in personal development, if you want to know about your purpose, you can sign up for our purpose course. It is on Thinkific, and you will learn five concepts from the book, purpose written by yours truly lisa and clark you'll find out about hindrances to purpose why purpose matter why purpose need to be unlocked how to get your purpose unlocked and also included in that course are two coaching purpose coaching sessions for you it is your time it is your season walk in authority and walk in your purpose so sign up for our purpose course today the link is in the youtube chat on our holistic healing jamaica's youtube page thank you for joining us today as we get ready for segment two now the resources that we will be using today will be the dragon slayer series as well as Paradise, which was the first book that I wrote in 2018. So the material will be coming from that as well as the scriptures. We currently have five books in the Dragon Slayer series. We have three published, two not yet published, but written. And in the Dragon Slayer series is where we explain what actually happens on the mission field yes the mission field the mission field is not just to go there to to give food to the poor the mission field is, is where we actually go to help others to weave the spiritual warfare yeah so i believe and all ministry believe that all churches um, ministry organization to serve the Lord Jesus Christ need to have a deliverance, healing and deliverance ministry, because that is how believers get freedom. And the motto of the holistic healing ministries is Luke 4, verse 18. And that encourages us, it informs us of our purpose as a ministry to heal the sick, to set the captives free, to bring liberty. So we serve as intercessors for persons who need help through healing, through warfare, through purpose, persons who are in spiritual bondage. And each member of our ministry team, we have had our own spiritual encounters, our own um, warfare. Once we are here on this earth, each of, each of us have, we, we have an enemy. And we're going to go right into that. Now, because technological warfare is a little bit on the advanced side, and we have some persons here who are listening, even members from the ministry, I am forced to go into basic spiritual warfare. So I'll be teaching 101, and then in the last part, I'll go into technological warfare. 
if it is that we see that we're coming close to the time where we need to pray, then I'll let you know if we'll have to do an additional session. But for now, I'll try to go as fast as I can. If there are questions, I'm going to ask you to put those questions in the chat, and then I will address those questions at the end of the presentation, okay? So I'm going to be sharing some slides with you. These, these slides, a little bit later on, I will put it on our webpage. I'll put it on our webpage, holistichealingministries.org. That will be back in just a while. And as well as the Jamaican Dragon Slayer dot wordpress.com the jamaican dragon slayer dot wordpress.com if you actually go on that page right now you will see stories including mission about the leviathan okay so more is coming where we're uploading more information for you because it's end times and we need to be ready we need to be battle ready many many persons have gone home early because gone home early because of spiritual warfare and ignorance i'm hoping that we'll have some more persons from the team online i hope Kada will come in not sure if she will but i i know i saw her earlier in the back office alicia if you're coming back on just let me know i can see you in the back office as we know that we get ready to go now what is spiritual warfare and why is it that technological warfare is real i know since this war started in russia you have been hearing about cyber attacks right and nations such as the United States, they're concerned because can you imagine uh, your enemy staying in another country and hacking into your system, hacking into your system and getting access to your data, to your information, to your critical information that you have stored on your hard drive, stored on your server, right? Now, for those persons who have learned about information technology use a computer you might have an idea a little idea about technological warfare because when you are using your computer you store data your data is processed into information right data is any material such as sounds sounds and text characters that when it is processed when you enter it into the computer and it, it is transposed it is processed through the ram and all of that and it's put into a meaningful form right where it is understood it becomes information so data is processed it becomes information and information is useful for us we as human beings right we operate similar to that of a computer because as humans we are tripartite we we have an area that stores information for us we we, we have a brain and our brain processes it, con converts, it analyzes, it synthesizes, we think, right? Using our brain, isn't that so? Um, right. We, we have a soul, and within our soul, we have our mind, our will, and emotion. And we're going to go on with this presentation. Just put on, put on my glasses, just one minute. Yes, we're ready to go. Spiritual Warfare 101. Student, mind made up, are you ready? Do you have your notebook and your pen in hand? Let's go. Okay, so tonight, it is my hope that you understand the term spiritual warfare, evil, deliverance, witchcraft, and you'll be able to differentiate between the enemies. Who is it that is fighting? Who is at war? We, because we are, we are, we are, we are, we are in the kingdom of God, we are Christians, okay? We are considered to be a part of the kingdom of light, okay? So it's also hope that in terms of knowledge objectives, you'll be able to see how spiritual warfare is done through the use of technology and entertainment, which includes animation. So in the interest of time, I'm going to go fast. I may not be able to go deeply into some of the slides, but we can always have workshops and seminars where we can go deeply and we can have a lot of questioning and we can even do assessments, all right? In terms of performance objectives now, what i want you to do after i go through this you can always think you can always go back to the video and you can apply whatever it is that i spoke about okay you can apply it you can use the strategies now to 
activate blessings and prosperity in your life and use it as basic defense methods or mechanism to protect yourself and your dependents from spiritual attacks. Because once you're human here, you will, you will get attacked. You will get attacked because we have an enemy. Now, this presentation is being brought to you by Holistic Healing Jamaica. If you have questions, you can email us, especially those on Ready Vibes Radio who cannot see the presentation. Our email address is H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C-H-E-A-L-I-N-G-J-A at gmail.com. So email us at Holistic Healing Ministries at that address. And you can ask us whatever questions that you, you want. If you'd like to join our Facebook group, you can select the Global WBOM Network, and we are on Facebook. Now, what is spiritual warfare? Now, this is for your information. If you take it or leave it, all right? If you have any doubts, you can always pray about it and ask God to clarify, all right? Now, fights happen daily between people and communities even nations there's also an existing battle that happens in the unseen realm in the unseen world this is a battle between good and evil darkness and light and we see this in our cartoons we see this in our movies we see this in the shows where we watch villains and heroes superheroes right now if you go to ephesians 6 verse 12 you will see that we have an enemy. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers in high places and spiritual wickedness. Those are the enemies that we wrestle against. They are the influencers. They influence human conduct and matters here on this earth. We also have from the spirit of light, God and his arm. We're going to go through all of that. We're looking at evil right now. What is evil? Now, just like in the cartoons where you see vina, vil, villains, right? Evil seek to dominate the world. I remember when I was a kid, I used to love this cartoon called The Pinky, The Pinky and The Brain, Brain. And, 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 and the mission of, you know, you know that cartoon I made up? You don't know that cartoon? The mission of, 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 of one of the most, it was two, two mice, two mice, mice, right? And one always wanted to take over the world. And in each episode, he'll try to do something to take over the world. That mm. was evil. evil seeks to dominate the world through obvious, sometimes, and also in subtle ways. Through roadblocks, oppression, stagnancy, domination, evil rulers. Um, give me an example of an e evil ruler. What's the name of, of, of that? My Hitler, Adolf Hitler. He was considered to be evil, right? He, because of him, the Holocaust many many jews were killed okay um nebuchadnezzar in the bible was an evil ruler right jezebel was considered evil also through um inequity in terms of wealth distribution unfair practices and so forth right now as long as we are here on earth we will experience warfare and the bible says that this battle began long ago long before the world was made when lucifer who is the leader of the villains we use the word villains here right the world of darkness the kingdom of darkness was thrown out of heaven along with his colleagues his team right and if you go to revelations 12 verse 7 to 12 you see that as well as isaiah 14 and luke 10 verse 18 speaks about him and he is no secret he is idolized and worship, okay? So it's no secret. It's no secret. He's not made up. He's not an invisible character, right? Meaning that while you, while if you're not spiritually gifted, you cannot see him, it's not that he is someone that was made up, conjured up in someone's mind. Each of us as humans have a spirit. Without a spirit, we cannot live. But there are other spirits that exist. They just don't have a body. They are disembodied spirits. Many, many times you might hear the word ghost. Ghosts are disembodied spirit, right? So they don't have a body. Demons, the same thing, disembodied spirit. Angels, the same thing, don't have a body. God is spirit, right? And to worship him, you're worshiping him spirit and in truth. So you won't see a physical man because God is not man. 
he is spirit. So I have to explain that to you for you to understand the concept of what are demons and are spirits real. So when it comes to spiritual forces, we don't fight human beings. When we fight, when we talk about warfare, we don't go and fit fight with people, right? What we do is use the strategies and spiritual instructions given by God and given through our advisor, our teacher, the Holy Spirit, who is a global strategist. He is a strategist. And he will inform you what to do when the time is right, when you're entering into warfare. So a spirit is a living energy, a life form. Okay? So sometimes you'll hear new age people talking about energy and their interest mm. and that, yeah. It, it's, it's, a, it's a living energy, a life form. And you don't need to be able to see it to know that it, it exists. It, it exists. And there's so many scriptures here because I'm showing this slide on the screen. You won't be able to see it. But if you look, Psalms 91 verse 11, Luke 4 verse 10, Psalms 34 7, Matthew 18 verse 10, Hebrews 1 verse 14, Exodus 23 verse 20, Daniel 10 verse 11 to 15 are evidences. And we know the Bible is a history book. It is not something made up. There is evidence okay to support the bible if you go to matthew 11 verse 12 you will also see okay um we, from the days of john the baptist till now the kingdom suffer violence and violence take it by force so it describes that the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of god suffer violence because of the warfare okay but what we must be assured is that god's power exceed any principality and power it exceeds what is the mm. battle why is there a warfare? It is because the enemy wants to get as many souls as possible before he is thrown into the pit that God has set aside for him on his day of destruction. So the battle is for souls. God wants to get as much souls as possible, especially now in end times. And the devil wants to get the devil is also Lucifer. That's an alternative name for him, right? He and his cronies, and there are many, their ultimate aim is to get your souls. So if they can confuse, if, it, if they can use their strategies where you don't believe that they exist, or you believe we're talking foolishness, and you don't give your soul to the Lord, and if when you pass on, you you're, you lose your soul because you have not acknowledged Jesus, then they have won another soul, which is your soul, okay? So it's important for us to preserve our soul, right? And there are many ways in which the enemy get to our souls, Okay? So what happened is that when you die, if you're whichever, which whomever it is that you are serving and serving in spirit and in truth. And, and when I say that, I mean, you don't go to church today, you go to the other man tomorrow. You won't be able to, you have to choose a side. You can't mix darkness and light. Okay. So get it straight. If you're serving God, serve God. If you're serving Baal, serve Baal. If you're so low to Jesus and you're doing the things that are right, when you pass on, when you die, you're in the kingdom of light. You're in the kingdom of light even now as you serve God. So you can represent him. You're representing him as a royal person. You were talking about a royal priesthood in the last presentation. You're a, you're a member of, the, of that army. And right now, you might hear the term remnant warriors being used, especially if you listen to some um, radio stations. God is calling his remnant, and he's calling special persons to engage in ministry true battle through spiritual warfare and these persons who are gifted we call them remnant warriors okay remnant warriors right especially gifted mm -hmm. person to engage in warfare are called remnant warriors now god's army is very vast it's wide if you go to revelations 5 verse 11 you will see thousands upon thousands upon thousands you will see blessings to you mavis who just came on all right. I have seen visions of Jesus coming back for his world. He has been reminding us that his end times and Armageddon is soon. And when I see him, he's coming with numerous angels. You can't count them when you see them in the heavens. So many angels on horses, thousands mm. times, thousands times, thousands, a lot. Okay. Now, man was given dominion on earth according to Genesis 26, verse 28. And Jesus Christ is ruler over all things. He's the king of kings. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Lord of Lord. He's the sacrificial lamb according to Revelation 5, verse 5, Revelation 19, verse 16, and also Revelation 17, verse 14. Okay? Now, 
why we need to know about spiritual warfare is this many persons think spiritual warfare is just about dopey coming and impacting you they don't realize that illnesses many illnesses of today are caused by spiritual factors cancers colon cancers a lot of the cancers and i, re I remember in 2018 when god said to me the issues that we're having these days is more coming from spiritual issues than natural issues while I, I have made man and given him the gift right to treat people it's only god alone heal he provides miracles all right so a lot of the times we get spiritual attacks and we don't know it's spiritual attacks but only god can reveal if it is a spiritual attack and the spiritual attack can impact your body and you will see physical signs and manifestations and i have testimonies i can talk about even recently an attack i got from a python spirit and the python was wrapped around my colon and it impacted my bowels and it caused a whole lot of pain okay if i wasn't aware that it was as a matter of fact any illness you have is called a spirit of infirmity spirit of infirmity spirit of infirmity so you make sure you write that down that's what it's called when you're feeling pain it is called spirit of affliction so you speak to it and you command spirit of spirit of infirmity spirit of affliction to leave but depending on what the problem is right you may need someone with a higher authority in the realm of the spirit or you may need a group to pray with you or you may need to choose a strategy such as fasting and prayer to assist you in deliverance and there are other things that you must do because if you do not believe in god healing you then you will have a problem in getting your deliverance okay so i am telling you i have gotten numerous attacks different parts of my body right and i see physical symptoms physical symptoms right <laughs> some i don't want to go into online right but I can tell you, I have gotten results and help in the realm of the spirit, even for pain that I've had, pelvic issues, pain inside. I remember I was having constant pain in my side for many months. And one day I heard, go and make a poultice. I didn't even know what a poultice was. And this, this it, it was explained to me, get banana leaf, put some color in it, yes quail the banana leaf so quail it rather so i make it dry a little bit why because if the banana leaf green or fresh it, it's gonna tear up quickly you have to just make it stay a little like for a day or so make it get a little quail up then you put the thing inside of it and i tied it up and 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 warm it that's how i made the poultice and then i put it on my side and within a few days all that months of pain was gone spiritual attack where my doctor recommended that I go and do a surgery for something that they could not see. But because I was hemorrhaging, they, they assumed that something was in my body that they could not see. So they wanted to go in to look to see if they could find what was in my body that they couldn't see. And the Lord said, no, you're not going to do any surgery. And he blocked it. And I can tell you this a few days before I was to do the surgery, when I went to church, when I went to a church, it wasn't my home church. I went to a church where there were 90 prophets and prophetesses and a bishop there. And the, the pain took me while I was at the church that my friend sent off. And the prophetess touched me. I said, my God, the pain is so intense. And when she touched me, that was when I saw the demons that were up against me. I didn't know it was spiritual warfare. I thought I was genuinely had a, having a physical issue. And that's when I saw the demons and she said, you cannot go to do the surgery because you need your hands and your feet to war. If you go on that table, you're going to die. Here I am. How many years later? Four years later, no surgery. You understand? And nothing. And I have that testimony. I went and I, and I told my doctor even about it today that I was to do surgery. And he said, for what? And I told him and he was shocked. So I'm telling you guys, anything that is bothering you, you need to ask God about it. Find somebody, have somebody in your circle who can hear from the Lord. Develop a relationship with the Lord and hear from him yourself because you need confirmation when you come out of these things that are impacting your life. Ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is dangerous. Ignorance will get you killed. Yes. If you go and you do a surgery and God don't approve it, you can get killed. 
because when it comes to spiritual warfare, there's so many things that can be that can come up against you. Things that the Leviathan can kill. When the Leviathan is sent, the Leviathan comes because of the spirit of envy and jealousy from people and and people who are proud. You understand? And when they send that assignment over territories, over your workplace, or even upon you and your purpose, it comes to kill you and it doesn't come by itself. You understand? To, to, only God can deal with the Leviathan, but you have to pray to get God to move on your behalf. Do not think that because you're a believer, there are some churches that say, once you accept Jesus, that's it. You don't need to do nothing else. You're going to heaven. That's a lie from the pit of hell. There's a lot that you need to do. There's a lot. That, and I'm not talking about religious rites like the scribes and Pharisees. You need to remain in prayer. You need to take your communion. You need to be covered under the blood of Jesus. You need to work in your relationship and read the scriptures daily. Those are basic things. So believers can be oppressed, afflicted, and tormented. If you have the Holy Spirit within you, you cannot be possessed. So possession is when a spirit totally takes control of you and you have no say in what you're doing. Oppression is when a spirit can impact your actions, your thoughts, your deeds. But there are times when you're very conscious. There are times when you know what you're doing. It hasn't fully taken control of you. So I hope you know the difference now. Possession, full control. Oppression, you have control over some of the things that you do. You can be a Christian and your soul can be locked up in parts of the underworld while you are a Christian. You could have been sacrificed from your baby and that has impacted your soul. And that is why deliverance is important and a deliverance ministry is important. So we have the authority through Jesus Christ to take back territories, expel demons, perform miracles. God gave us that authority when Jesus Christ came and he died on the cross for our sin. There, was, there is power in the blood and there is power in the cross of Jesus. When the scripture said, Jesus, when he died, he went into Hades and he took the keys, right? And the gates of hell shall not prevail because of what Jesus did. It is the truth. It is real. Hades is a real place. As a matter of fact, there is a spirit named Hades. And I'm going to show you. He is he, idolizing our cartoons. You understand? So hmm. he's real. And, he ha and there's the gate. He controls the gate of hell. He controls. And in hell, I wrote about hell in paradise. When I wrote paradise, God had taken me to paradise. And then God gave me more information about heaven and he gave me information about hell he asked me if i wanted to see me say me say no because i was afraid because of experience i had gotten before that with seeing baphomet and seeing the eight gate of hell it made me could you afraid. repeat that if you wanted to see what what he asked you if you wanted to see if i wanted to see hell he was he was teaching me about hell right that hell is real and he was saying to tell his people that hell is real it's a real place and if they think they're experiencing hell on earth, that's a lie. Because what you're experiencing on earth, it cannot compare to what you're going to experience there in hell if you don't give your soul to, to Jesus. He said that. He said, he said you're, you're going to experience torture, torment, sodomy. So if you're, don't, if you're not into certain things, sodomy. The demons are going to be gripping through you. Through you. You're going you're, you're gonna to be... Just, just fear alone he says enough for, for you to want to die. Just the fear of what you're seeing. He says the, the, the demons that are there cannot be made up in your imagination. The human mind cannot imagine those things. There is no, no, no scary ghost, devil, demon on any show that we have made that can compare to what is in hell. That's what he said. And the other day when, when, when we did an intercession and we had to, to fight and he took us to, 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 to the gates of Hades, he said, I'm not going to allow you to see the things that are fighting around you because you won't be able to sleep because it is that scary. You understand? God will do things for you. God will allow you to help people. But I'm telling you, warfare is not for everybody. You have to be purposed to go into this type of thing. I, 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 I had to be delivered from a spirit of fear before I learned about certain things. But I, I, I saw Baphomet before I got deliverance from the spirit of fear. So the, the day when God taught me, it was my first lesson in not just technological warfare, but in God, in my mind, when he took me there. I, I, um, there was a young man that visited me. And when he walked into my house, 
the spirit of death. You, you know, the Grim Reaper that you see where the people celebrate Halloween and they put on this hoodie and they have this, this sickle and they walk around it and they think it is fun. Yes, that's why I don't celebrate Halloween because those things that we see and they celebrate, they're, they're in the realm of the spirit, right? The spirit walked into the house behind the young man and I was shocked out of my wits and I said, young man, I have to pray with you. This is what I see. The spirit of death is lurking, right? So it's best if you just repent and give your life to the Lord, you know, so God can preserve your soul. And um, at the time I was married and my husband sat with me and we prayed with him, okay? And when all that was finished, the Lord taught me a lesson. He teaches. The, the, the Lord, Jesus, as well as the Holy Spirit, they teach, they teach. And the Holy Spirit said to me, okay, let me tell you what happened. We have to be careful what we listen. The young man was listening to, to, to a particular artist in Jamaica that the young people love to listen to. And he, he, he holds his finger a particular way. He's a dancehall artist. He's the one who rule, rule the place, right? Um, right now, he's not that active because he's, he's actually serving time. But I'm telling you, the, the, the young people, they were very captivated by him. And what God wanted me to learn in that lesson is this. When you listen, when you feed upon these things, your soul, your spirit is going to absorb it. And what you do, what you eat, what you take in, you can become. So if you listen to a gangster talking about killing, raping, robbing, you can become a gangster and rape and rob just the same. There are spirits that are attached that influence. So the spirit of murder, yeah? Those spirits, diabolical spirits, the spirit of perversion. You're listening to some, 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 some contrary person who is teaching you against the way of the Lord and against what the Lord says about what to do. You can become like them. You may be influenced by their ideologies. And he said to me, this is what happened. The person, because they like the artist, the spirit, the spirit of death is associated. Because these persons make covenant with the underworld. The artists, the singers, the musicians, the, the actors, a lot of persons, right? They are a part of cults and they form covenants. And when you come into agreement, seeds are planted. And what when seeds are planted, seeds grow. So in that teaching, he just took me. And it took my spirit, just like in the book of Ezekiel, and I started to fall. And when I started to fall, I was taken to the eight gate. And what inside of the place looked like the inside of a volcano. Fortunately, because of the geography, I, I, I know what the inside of it, you know, I have an idea what it looked like. I could see like the sulfur, the red hot molten lava on the side of the, 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 the enclosed area that I was going down and i was afraid and i started to say psalms 91 in tongues while i was saying psalms 91 i saw this demon coming from below me and he was coming up like a beast and i remember i, I would never forget how he looked like this red pool called to me but he was enormous and that was <laughs> very very scary the holy spirit took me out and he he, he gave me a debriefing and I, I know he told me the name. I know what he is. I know who he is. There are persons around me who are associated with the Freemasons. So I know what it is that this thing is and what he does. So I learned a lesson that day. And so I just want to tell you, if it is that you are a part of any cult, you know, or your, your children listen to this music, you have to inform them to be careful and to stop, to desist and to give their life to Jesus and to repent so that they can get their protection because the intent is to get souls. You can do self-deliverance by helping yourself. There is a spiritual warfare guide that I have posted on the Thinkific website. If you scroll up on the, um, just one second, spiritual, there's a spiritual warfare guide. Let me put it on the screen just for one sec. If you go to Thinkific, to that you can see the the guide and you can download it and help yourself all right spiritual warfare guide because i'm gonna go through real quickly so it would be good if you can go on the side to get that all right so not all spirits have wings they come in various shape and form and because they're not confined to a body like us they they shape shift they can change shapes so however these spirits come from different kingdoms. You have the heavenly realms. In the heavenly realms, you have different type of creatures. Some fly, some are beasts, some look like aliens. 
some birds that are mythical creatures that you'll see that look like the phoenix, you know, die and rebirth. You have good creatures and you have evil. So it's not just evil that are there. You have good. Um, God made angels, not angel, not all angels look like Angel Michael and Gabriel you see on TV. There are angels like the seraphim and the cherubim and other angels that 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 are in forms that you can't describe. All right. So there are there are beasts there. And when when you look, say for example, you were to look on a spatial when you see the sun and the moon and you see stars and so forth and the Milky Way, there is there there's actually more to the heavens than where, where the Milky Way is. When you pass the Milky Way, there is more heavens, more darkness and into the outer darkness, right? Before you get into the realm where God is, where paradise is, right? Because when God took me to paradise um, on the 31st, 31st, I did, which day she passed? 30, 31st. First of February 2018 was when he took me to paradise. No, no, that's the, that's the day I got, I got a, a, the, the supernatural encounter. He took me to paradise February 5th. February 5, 2018, I went through the different heavens, right? You would hear people say first, second, third heaven, right? He took me past the stars, and then I went to this place where there was a blanket. And after the blanket, then we entered paradise where you could see it was like earth, but it was light, beautiful, pure love you're going to feel. You, anybody who enters there don't want to come back to earth because it's it's far more glorious, far more beautiful, much more peaceful. You will feel love like you've never felt before. Just the whole environment is love. Just like when you meet Jesus himself, Jesus is pure love. Jesus embodies love, right? So when you get an encounter with Jesus, that's how, what you're going to feel, pure love. And your spirit is going to connect with him because he knows you before you were born. He knew you. He knew you before you were found in your mother's womb. So you can talk to him telepathically. You don't even have to open your mouth. Like what happened with me? I didn't open my mouth. My spirit man was just talking to Jesus. And that was 2017. In the summer, people were around me when I had that spiritual encounter, right? At Hope Gardens. And all of that testimony, I wrote about it in the book Paradise, all right? Place where you can never die. So you have animal kingdom. In the animal kingdom, in the underworld, you have all sorts of animals, dinosaurs, things we see in Jurassic Park, Brontosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, Plegosaurus, all sorts of snake, serpent. By the way, it's in the spiritual realm I realized that serpent and snake. Are you like, sure? Are you sure we're doing a uh, spiritual warfare one on one? This is basic. You have to learn about the kingdom. You're learning mm -hmm. about the kingdom. animal kingdom. Every type of animal you can think about. You understand? Yeah. Crocodiles, panthers, different cats, creatures that you've never seen before. Creatures who were in the prehistoric days, creatures with, that died in Noah's time. You understand? Some of the demons that exist are from Noah's time, like the Nephilim. Um, there are some demons that came on earth and had intercourse with humans. So they, in, the, in the spiritual realm, they call them demigods and so forth. So beasts, they're demonic, right? So It's my it, understanding that um, uh, these things are going to surface again before Christ's return. I believe right now there are a lot of demons being unleashed on earth. because of Yes, absolutely. And what God showed me in 20. 2018, I think, 2018 October, the first vision about Armageddon. What I saw, these creatures were like on top of buildings. In 2018, he showed me that they were on buildings. So they're going to be impacting you at your workplace. You are not going to see them. They're going to oppress you. They're going to oppress. They're going to impact trade. They're going to impact food. They're going to impact you in so many different ways. But you won't necessarily see them because if you don't have a spiritual eye, if your eye is not open, mm. you're not gonna see. There are people who are in darkness whose eyes are open. There are people who the chakras open and they can see. There are people who talk about the third eye. I used to be. There was a time when I thought that the, the third eye and all of that was 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 being used in Christianity because New Age was mixing Christianity with Hinduism and and that type of spiritualism, right? We have to be so careful. Because there are many persons who are in Christendom who it's going to tell you about opening your third eye chakra, and that is going to invite a big old snake into your spirit. You understand? Amen. File around, Amen. File around and it, it, that's that's problem. So we don't do that. Don't ever do third eye. That's why I tell people don't do yoga. 
you can stretch yeah but don't I agree it. don't open the chakras because the spiritual realm is deep and you're going to be inviting demons inside open doors open doors kundalani spirit that big old snake you will think you have the holy spirit and it's not the holy spirit i have mm. had that experience i've had to be delivered from kundalani i don't even know when kundalani reach inside of me but i'm telling you <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm frank i'm an open person and i will tell you about my experience because whatever i go through is to teach others so they can learn because that's my purpose to help others right and for you to also learn through my mistakes as well okay so you can be open to the spiritual realm but if you're not fully delivered you can have open doors that you don't even know about Amen. I've had doors from my past from my family line generation impacting me and i don't know we have no control over what our family members do almost seven generations ago you know we don't but the reality is if we don't get the teaching and if we're not around the right people to help us right to to eliminate the altars they, they these people back then were pagans our ancestors they were spiritual and the reality Absolutely. is that they knew about the marine kingdom yes marine kingdom go to genesis in genesis you'll see about the different kingdoms god made god made the fishes you understand god made creatures like leviathan when you see that the leviathan too, the, the, there are two leviathans i have seen and the leviathans look different there's one that look like a serpent with many heads and he's in water he has come on the land because I saw him over a building over a school already, right? And if you if you heard me share the story about me being spiritually poisoned, that was when I had that encounter when we were, we were doing the, the, the fasting and praying for that Leviathan, right? But then the, the, the second Leviathan that I encountered looked like a T-Rex, a Tyrannosaurus. Is that recently? Recently, recently, last week, as recently as last week, deliverance. Make me a talk, me not... I, the, the, the enemy don't want you to talk, but I'm talking. Because the enemy, when you come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up, raise up a standard and will send help, right? When he comes, he comes to kill. People who hate you, people who hate you will send things against you. And their mm. purpose is to shut you down and try to kill you. But if you are living in the word, if you have your relationship with Jesus, God has promised you never to leave you and he will deliver you. I was, I was having back pains and a series of things were being disclosed. But, and it was months before I keep hearing the word Leviathan, I'm like, Leviathan, Leviathan, really Leviathan. But when he showed me, not each time I kept, I kept burping and the thing was like becoming very annoying and it was oppressing my back. And when we went on seven days fasting, seven days prayer and fasting, and what I was told by the Holy Spirit was that to deal with this, we had to do group prayer. Yet no one person can deal with this alone. You have to do group so prayer. So God be the glory. Fat clatter ashes, group prayer and fasting. Just like what Jesus did. When the disciples couldn't cast out the demon and they went to Jesus and said, but what, Master, why couldn't we deal with this demon? And he said, this kind only live by prayer and fasting. That's what had to be done. You understand? So... That was what happened so he showed me the thing looked like a t-rex but it, it's like a cross between a t-rex and a, and a crocodile so when you hear they use the word crocodile i can understand why in the book of job why in, in some versions you see the word crocodile because the skin resembles that of a crocodile but thicker sharp edges on it the face similar to that of a crocodile elongated but it has a, a big belly and to get that thing down, to get that thing subdued, angels had to come and attach things on it to sub it, hook it. They had to hook it and subdue it. And it was the most amazing thing seeing wow. those, it happen. Let me tell you something, people. It's amazing what God can do. It's amazing what prayer does. It's amazing when you have fervent prayers. But you see, if you just sit down and complain, you get like a back pain and you believe, say, doctor, go take care of everything. And it's doctor. Yeah. Hey, you have another thing coming. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're fine. Say you have some major disease that you die. Doctor can't take care of certain things. You understand? Can't. It is the word of God that is truth and light. And knowledge is for. Okay? And we're not saying that people shouldn't go to the doctor. No, Sometimes it's necessary that they go so mm -hmm. that they can verify and have a testimony that I thought I had this. Just like what you said, that they were telling you to have a, um, um, an operation, which you mm -hmm. did not do. 
-hmm. because of the prophecy you got from your, um, your spiritual sister and you were healed and you still went back to the doctor to verify that you know you never actually needed the the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the, the operation so it's good to go but i feel that you know sometimes it's needed and another time it's just needed to, to back up your testimony yes you need it you need it at, there are sometimes there, there were times i get attacked and i didn't go to a lot of the times especially when i started to see change in physical stuff in my body and i say i don't want to go yet because I don't want my mind to be impacted because your mind is powerful, your emotion is powerful, you know. If you go yes. to the doctor and the doctor tell you, say, hey, you have cancer, let me tell you, it will take a toll on you and your emotions can cause a door and it gets worse. So those who trust in the Lord, I like Mount Zion, you know, we're not, we're not easily shaking, not easily moved, but we go by the direction of the Lord. If the Holy Spirit says, go to the doctor, you go to the doctor. If the Holy Spirit say to you, okay, you're going to need both. If the Holy Spirit say, like what happened mm. to me, Holy Spirit told me get some herbal treatment and the herbal treatment helped me and it was no herb I didn't go to a specialist a specialist he told me what herbs to get the Holy Spirit can tell you what herbs to get and give you a formula to be healed so there there's nothing that God cannot do you understand it's well, so the, well the medicine came from herbs uh, he gave us herbs <laughs> in the nation he gave you herbs for the healing of the nation that is in the scriptures to find out the basics about spiritual warfare, you can go to Dragon Slayer Volume 1. That will explain who is at war, why spiritual warfare, and so forth. All right? You also need to know about the kingdom of God. If you're going to war, you need to know who it is that you're fighting for. I'm scrolling through because I'm looking on the time. All right? Oh, we got uh, 45 minutes. Right. But the main thing that you need to know is this, that the God who we serve as Christians is an art is the all-powerful god the great i am also known as yahweh and he's a part of what we call the godhead and the, the trinity otherwise known as the trinity and three spirits in one all three spirits are powerful all three spirits can work individually by themselves okay they, they god and we don't refer to the spirits as it so we don't refer to the holy spirit as as it we say he 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 so we refer to jesus as he we refer to the almighty creator he we refer to the holy spirit as he and there are many persons who do not respect the holy spirit they don't acknowledge him and it disrespects it's very disrespectful he has feelings he can his feelings can be hurt he has um, um he has chastised me there are times when he has corrected me and he said you, you know you didn't listen to me you didn't believe what i said to you and it hurt his feelings and God has feelings. God has emotions. Remember, we were made in the image and likeness of God. So the emotions that we feel, God also feel. God, has, God can get, God is can get angry. And speak about it in the Bible. You know, the oh, anger, Lord. all the wrath yes. of the Lord. The, the, the Lord is also love. So God gives love. The God, the joy, the joy of the Lord. You understand? So they 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 have feelings, and when we reject them, they hurt. Jesus, God wants us to acknowledge them and to love them and they want to love us back because they made us to, to, to just to, to enjoy them and to love. And when we don't do it, it, it hurts them because they don't want to see us suffer and they don't want us to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, and this image is in volume volume one of Dragon Slayer, the, the Godhead, this diagram. I got the diagram. The Holy Spirit told me to do a diagram and to ensure that i put on it that he is the nucleus of the godhead and explain what the nucleus is the core so when he gave me that book to write he says i am the core of the godhead so god the father god the son speak to him he knows what they are doing what they are thinking he goes he executes you understand so even though each can speak independently and will speak and do things independently but Jesus also said, if you see me, you see the Father. I and the Father are one. Remember that? And then when he was leaving, he said he's going to send someone to help us. Right? When he died, when he died, he sent the Holy Spirit to help us. So this image can help you to understand the Godhead. And it can also help you. This is a second image that is in Dragon Slayer 1. Speaks about how powerful the spirit-filled man is. Right? Um, where you are tripartite as a human being, where you have the physical body, you have your soul, 
you have your spirit and inside you know inside of you you have god <laughs> yeah you have the actual god in itself it's amazing we can't look on it with our physical eye the mind of man cannot fathom these things we can't we can't understand how the creator made us to even hold our spirit much less how god can hold inside of us you understand uh, but uh, what I, I i noticed though when we die and even in the situations that and the stories and what he has been teaching me he says that when we die we are in him so when we are alive in the physical body he is he is inside our body but we are also in him we're living in him right it is it is strange it is strange but god is light and if we are with him we are we're in light the only way you can ask these questions when you when you when you die you go to heaven ask god the questions the question the hard questions that is secret some things we will not know once we're here on earth because god saying can't say everything because of the enemy and the enemy wants ma, to ma, 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 ma. So, so some things are <laughs> you just you will not know all right i guess um the very basic of the basic of the 101 is that um before one even think about going into um spiritual warfare is that you have to give your life to the lord wholeheartedly because this is no funds and game definitely it's not it's not funds and game if you don't give your life to the lord they will lose big time and god have god have some work some something fierce man not just in heavens but on earth he has rewards for you so the criteria you're seeing it here criteria to benefit and enjoy the beautiful kingdom have a relationship with jesus oh. he is the way the truth the light no one come to the father except through him you must believe in the holy spirit and it's important ask jesus ask the holy spirit to live within you because guess what too the gifts you get is not just physically get spiritual gifts too and if you if you read first corinthians 20 verse 11 you will see those spiritual gifts it's a whole heap of gift you know and we must aspire to get these things aspire to get the good things the enemy don't want you get it but god want mm. you get it if you go to a church and the church don't believe in the gift of the spirit leave i'm gonna tell you because you need it to survive on earth yeah <laughs> out of there out of there out of there because there are many out of there <laughs> that exists and there are many churches where the shepherds they are not of god they are leading they are blind and then you have those who are definitely of the enemy they are they have signed their souls over they're working for lucifer they have their altars and can you imagine you going for blessing from satan agent imagine that imagine getting communion from satan agent when the power of the blood of Jesus is what is supposed to wash you and help you and give you deliverance. Oh, you're going to get deliverance when Satan wants souls. It's not going to work. So right now, God wants you to know the truth and open up your eyes and learn. And else, this, this is a teaching ministry. We teach by our conferences. We teach by our shows. And it's not an easy ministry. We come under holy part, but, but God, all we can oh, say, but, but God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and, and, and we hear Alisa saying, without the Holy Spirit, we're empty. Talk to, talk to. Me have to put up this one. Without the Holy Spirit, we are empty. We go to church all our life and we know something missing. And we say, something is missing. And we don't know what is missing. The day I got the Holy Spirit, I never had, a, 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 I didn't really have a spiritual mentor. It was a youth fellowship. And we were just worshiping, 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 and worship, feel nice. And then something just come inside of me. And I said, wait what is so tingly and the, the best thing i could describe it to was sex i said to my boyfriend you know <laughs> you know how it feel you know like when you put it for and, 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 and i said this feel nice enough that's my description i'm telling you the truth <laughs> because you want to explain to a non-christian believer oh god nice and the nicest thing you ever feel is when you get a, a, a og you understand what i'm saying <laughs> Oh geez, oh gee, this time is oh gosh, right? <laughs> this time, mom can't be that oh gee. <laughs> oh my goodness, you've had the Holy Spirit since you were 12 years old. Alicia says if she didn't have him from she was 12, she'd be dead today. Praise God. My God. Mm, 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 mm. God. So, guys, we're going fast. Listen to me assignment more on the kingdom you're going to learn about the kingdom go to chapter four of dragon slayer number two right that dragon slayer volume two deals with the eight gate right go to chapter seven of paradise a place where you'll never die and you're going to answer these questions what is the kingdom described as how does god rule in his kingdom 
how does it penetrate or impacts man how is god's kingdom made available to man why is the kingdom compared to yeast and a mustard seed and what is the reason in isaiah's prophecy for people not understanding about the kingdom of god so these books are workbooks and training manuals not just for you to read for your pleasure go and get your training tools if we're on the battlefield and we need to be equipped so go and get your, your your training tools we posted the links to those books in the chat so you can always you can always get it you can type in my name on amazon and you'll find it as well now how do you access the kingdom jeez i'm gonna have to go fast we need the keys these keys are they literal are they physical no right the keys include and i can't go into detail we have to get the book paradise where they're, they're listed out obedience joy faith basic keys basic hope and some of them intertwine as well with, with weapons trust, mm -hmm. right trust is a key you have to submit you understand if you don't trust and obey you won't be able to access something as simple as my god healing and i will tell you this when i was going through spiritual warfare listen um and he was helping me to help my mom when my mom was sick right i teach him teach him about warfare while i have somebody who need help you know and he, he said to me trust is important why when you're looking for a miracle oh, there is no room for doubt no room for doubt when you want a miracle he says no room for fear or, or as well as realism so you cannot look at it and say the reality of the situation is this logical um, cannot be logical <laughs> logically you can't reason it out because when it come out to miracles you can't reason no <laughs> miracles so he says miracles come by trusting obeying and having faith that the desires of your heart will come so trusting the wrong person will fail you especially if you put your trust in man see what happened if i had put in my trust in the doctor and gone on the operating table would i be here today god knows huh there was nothing to find huh no listen to me he says, when you trust people, you will fail. When you are engaging in battle, you have to be careful. It is expected that you trust your general. Who is the general of the army of God? Who is the general? When you're going to the book, Dragon Slayers, you're going to see the word the general, the advisor, the king of kings. You have to know who it is who is giving the instruction, who is the strategist. You cannot trust the enemy. Amen. The enemy will be sly. He'll come with sweet words, but the enemy can be very crafty. He will let you think that all is well, and when you least expect it, he will attack you, and it will be to your detriment. Do you understand? And the enemy can be your brother, your sister, your mother, your son, or your daughter. Your pastor can be your enemy. Why? If there is an open door, the enemy can come to anybody. The enemy can be a neighbor who is a witch or you know, the person is a witch or a warlock. Remember, I tell you, you have to be the one to ask God, okay, who is the enemy using to attack me today? Is it my boss? Is it my supervisor? Is it my best friend? Who is the enemy using? You understand? So, trust. So, you have to trust in the Lord in all your heart. Lean not your own understanding in all his ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He will bring your he'll give you dreams. What God has do, been doing with me recently is to keep giving me repeat dreams. And I'm like, God, why me keep getting these repeat dreams? Yes. Repeat dreams can mean regression. It can mean it's taking you back to the past. You know what God said? Unfinished business. There are some things to be dealt with. Oh, no. Are you serious? 20 <laughs> years ago, I had to be dealing with things. Past 20, 23 years ago, altars built to prevent stagnation. Altars built by people who I trusted, people who I love. People I consider friends. I cried when 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 we go through these intercessions, you know, and God bring up the people there before you, and you see the spirit, and you say, "But why?" And it's something as simple as this: people don't like you if you're brown. Maybe you're too black, and your black your blackness is pretty. Maybe you're bright, and they, they feel they're not that bright, so they envy you because you're bright. Maybe maybe they feel that your teacher's pet or your the boss like us so or favoritism. They they work witchcraft on you for it. I'm telling you. It's a spirit that come in them, the spirit of envy and jealousy. We call it in Jamaica, bad mind. And that's a wicked spirit because it, it, it set traps and cause all sorts of things to come to you. Well, you don't even want to hear about my recent story about, about, about bad mind. Let me go to the army of God. <laughs> this year, this is the armor. This is the armor that the, the soldiers put on. It's a part of the armor 
when, 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 when you're a child of God, you go to Ephesians 6 and it tells you verse 13 about put on the breastplate of righteousness and the sword and all these things. Oh, you have to put on your armor because if you're not armored up, it's problem. The enemy can find a loop all the way to come in. I soon tell you how he came in recently and impacted me. But your assignment, this is your third assignment. Yes, you make me move in. Lisa, you, you, get, you get excited when you talk about warfare. <laughs> I've been having the, the same thing, the, the, the <laughs> dreams that I had that I dreamt many years ago, some 20, 30 years ago, and it just all keep coming back. I'm like, what's this? What's this? And mm -hmm. it's like, go yeah, back so and cancel them. They're yeah. still, they're still, they're still, you know, growing. Sometimes, sometimes not just cancel alone, sometimes you have to go in deep intercession prayer fervent prayer and kill some things you have to destroy the spirits that are feeding the altars and mash up the altars otherwise they will come back and haunt you oh, that Lord, is what I was happening I, I said god wasn't i praying and canceling these things and him said but the spirits kept coming back you understand and 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 and, and, and i am learning every day is a day to learn just like how you're learning no i learn every day so oh i learn I learned through practical experience. God put me through the situation. He met me sick so me can testify that God is a healer. You understand? Oh, he put me through these battlefields so I can say, God is my defense. He's my shield. He's my hiding place. He hides me under his wings. Yes, I, he, he give me the experience. I can say, God is a supernatural God. I've had supernatural encounter. I see that Jesus is not so. That is how he teaches me. So, And that's because it's a part of my purpose. Ask God, what is your purpose? There are many remnant warriors out there. Many remnants. He has called me to remnants, right? To unlock remnants. People who they feel ostracized. Them, they're rejected. They're special and they're gifted. But where they are, they're oppressed. The pastor feel jealous. People see the gift on them. The witches and the warlocks see the gift and they don't want them to come to the purpose. They experience a holy for fight. And God has put persons out there to help them. It's end time and God wants all his warriors ready and he wants you equipped and informed. So listen up. You need to be informed. Get these books. So Dragon Slayer 1, assignment 3. Who leads the heavenly army? You can look to the book of Revelations for that. What comprises of the army of God? You can go to page 66 in the book for that. And how many warriors are in the army? Hey. So we have questions to ask you when you go through, you can assess us and remember making notes and mark up. And you can also look on, okay, who do we fight and why do we fight? Now, this is what God said to me. This is a dialogue from the book from Paradise, page 126 on Keys to the Kingdom. The enemy knows the people whom I have appointed for certain things. He's the enemy. Remember, you know, he was in the heavens before he was thrown out. He has access to certain things. That is his job. He's going to do everything in his power for the truth to not come to pass. The truth that God declared over your life, that you're special, that you're fearfully and wonderfully made, that you have power over a sound mind, that you can you, you that you can fight, that you have it within you, that you're royalty. He don't want you to know that he want you to be blind, deaf, dumb. He wants you to be living in realism, thinking that this is foolishness I am talking. Because when he mm. gets you to believe that he can get your soul and you know have hell to pay later on, it's going to laugh at you. It's going to laugh at the scorn. Hey, mighty God. Mm -hmm. If he can kill you early, he will. If he can get you extremely oppressed so that you forget about God and think that God not love you, he will. Anything that he can do to frustrate you, he will. That is what people do in a war. People confuse their opponents. So one strategy that the enemy use is confusion. And he does this as well through oppression all right so that's our strategy enemy so you have to equip yourself be sober-minded because your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking to devour whomever he can so you have to resist him by standing firm in your faith remember we say one tool and one key faith faith is a weapon of your warfare as well so have that faith and knowledge that you know the brothers in the world, everybody you're going to encounter suffering. It might be a different kind of suffering. My long suffering might be different from your long Hallelujah, suffering. Hallelujah, Jesus. We all have to experience suffering. God doesn't want us, though, while we suffer to become casualties of war. He doesn't want us to die. He cares about you losing your, 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 your the battle. 
he doesn't want because of ignorance for you to die or you for you to lose he wants you to get everything if god said to you the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and he wants you to be wealthy he wants you to get it but you have to trust him and you have to believe in him and you have to act on the instructions he give you don't make fear and belief belief stop that and i see that happen a lot of the time especially with men most women women going to the kingdom women serving god and how many men on the street rolling up weed how many of them joining cults how many of them their idol is racist and gambling and a lot of every every morning they're going and they're gambling in the morning that's their god God, Jesus. and what they do is make the life of their wives their spouses are living hell because who can walk unless they agree so while the wife is a christian and she's trying to serve god them come with the demons and his hell in the house because different spirits darkness and light don't mix problem they going to have chaos in the house and the women have to learn have to know submit to foolishness because the men are walking in alignment come on now men come on now come on join the kingdom the one true kingdom come on <coughs> men, rise up men now what are the weapons you have to know the different weapons you have to know the different tools we just spoke about one confusion on oppression remember we are fighting spiritual battle it's not a physical fist fight between two humans it's a spiritual battle and in the spiritual battle we fight yes god made our hand to warn our fingers to fight so sometimes they might go to church and you see people marching around and they're moving in on their feet and they're stomping and they're jumping and they're praising they're fighting when we fight god give us automatic rifle ak-47 some big gun women never know the name of these guns god we use swords we use m16 we use bomb we use grenades we use uh, we use rocket launcher we use harpoons if you're in marine kingdom you use harpoon to kill big fish let me tell you something you use torpedo like they use with submarine god is fully equipped and god is fully up to date and when you fight you never ever fight alone there are all these angels different type of angels i see where god said all wheel the wheel to help in battle they are animals that help people pray and you in marine kingdom and you see all sort of mermaid and merman and all sort of creatures there octopus and whatever and you see whale come to help you I, 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 i'm amazed i can't tell you how much I'm, I'm gonna boast about jesus because while i was there doing my thing the enemy never showed me any of these things you understand and i would boast about jesus because jesus is light and he is the most loving person i've ever seen he has the most beautiful eyes his eyes isn't even one color his eyes are like the beautiful beautiful teen green gray brown mixture of things together when you just when you're looking at him eyes you just want to fall in love fall in love with jesus because you're just going to feel pure love and he has promised that he will never leave you nor forsake you you are his when you give your life to him you might not physically see him i don't see him all the time there are times when he chooses to choose it to show himself and there are times when he chooses to just speak and there are times he chooses to be quiet and i'm wondering where is god and I'm, I'm going through all of this where is god but he says the word remember remember sometimes he'll just bring a scripture to remember his word you understand listen to me people holy for things to learn what is the best medicine he says we cannot fight spiritual battles with man-made doctrines and man-made medicine spiritual battle if it's spiritual sickness is spiritual medicine i have seen the spirit of caesar send like worms more than one time to intercede and the spirit of caesar send worm you have worm all over you you know you're here you scratch your itch inside every orifice orifice yeah where where you ever you pronounce it you know hole, <laughs> <every hole. laughs> you understand <laughs> I'm telling you, Caesar, it's a person <laughs> thing. It will make you kill yourself. Spirit of suicide, come with it. I'm telling you, it torments. I'm telling oh, you. God. You, you have, you have, you, have, you see, spirits look like bacteria, viruses. You understand? The other day I saw something. Like when, I, when I got the attack, the only thing I could like it to was when I watched the, the show, was it the Terminator? There was a show that come out in the 1990s with, with Schwarzenegger. I think, I think they used... Um, you know the, the binoculars night goggles type of thing and there was an alien and when the alien look the, the, the and, and the humans they were all in different colors or something like that like when you watch night goggles 
it, that's the only way I can describe it. The, the things that I saw look like that, different colors, and they were moving. So it would be similar to if you saw a virus or bacteria in a microscope. But they, but they were alive. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you, let me talk about the spiritual realm, really spiritual realm. Really. We're gonna have to come back next week for part two. Right? I just wanna, be, you wanna say what? Mm -hmm. Um, add to this. Um, one of the things that I like about the weapons of our warfare, which is stated in Ephesians 6, is you know, um, I love all of them, by the way, but I really, really like the one that says. The one that has to do with faith. Mm -hmm. Put on the garment of faith so that you can quench all the fiery darts of the wicked adversary. Yes, and as you yes. were saying that, you know, sometimes you see the Lord, you hear from him, and sometimes you don't hear from him. But when you have on that garment and you know the God mm -hmm. in whom you serve and you have seen him come through before for you and whatever the enemy throw at you sometimes, you're just going to say, I'm going to believe, I'm going to stand because sometimes the enemy will do everything to tear it down severe as we yes, but when you have on that garment of feet you can just quench all the fiery darts of the wicked adversary yes, and i'm hello. quenching oh, one right cool. now because as you came online yes. i got the call that a, a family member of mine is in the hospital oh lord and the news that i got i'm like okay but i'm here now on this program and i just went into Ephesians um, 6 and put on my faith. And I said, I'm going to quench the dart of the wicked adversary tonight yes, God. in the name of Jesus. They said, we cancel every spiritual attack in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. They said, be bound and canceled right now. Be bound and canceled right now. Yes, mighty God, we thank you. We thank you that your angels right now are on that case. And we just glorify you and lift you up and give you thanks. We tear off everything that our Shandai that was sent, the assignment of the enemy, even now. And we skite kotoro shataraba. In the name of Jesus. So we're looking here, chapter eight, the best medicine. What some of the answers we are looking for for some of the weapons include division, oppression, witchcraft distraction destabilization those are some things to look at right you can if you if you have any doubts and you want to know if evil and these things are real or if it's superstition just just go go and look even in the lord's prayer the lord's prayer speak about deliver us from evil deliver us Lisa, from i think evil. we're i think we're past that with what's going on in the world with n these days i think we're past if there's evil, if evil is 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 a thing it's, we're, it's, we're past it's, that <laughs> It's obvious where some person <laughs> thinks it's a part of life. But yeah. hear what? So say God gave a different definition of evil, even though we think we know what evil is. Okay, he, go said, ahead. he said that it is deeds of darkness that have repercussions, affliction such as pain and infirmity, curses, generational or otherwise, through seeds, word, thoughts, and actions, and acts of iniquity such as witchcraft and other dark side engagements. The intent of evil is to torment, which is an action done by the enemy, yeah, to prevent growth for spiritual wickedness and to cause stagnation. That's a, that's a thing, stagnation. So stagnation is actually a part of spiritual warfare. You wonder why you're not growing. You wonder why you don't have any money. You wonder why you don't reach far in life. You wonder why you couldn't finish school. Stagnation, spiritual warfare from your being a child. And you don't you wonder why you don't get any promotion why on earth i work so hard and i can't get a promotion i can't increase money <laughs> spiritual warfare so it's evil he says spiritual oppression prevents the receiver even christians from getting freedom and to develop an interactive intimate relationship with god this will impact the mind of the individual making it hard for them to worship for them to pray it will influence negative thoughts and this includes religious indoctrination. Can you imagine? Religious indoctrination can impact you having a relationship with Jesus. You go to the wrong church and you have a leader who in a, in, in a cult and you don't know. And next thing you know, him working charismatic witchcraft and you have to come and give all your salary to all that pastor. You understand? And you end up engaging. <laughs> you experience spiritual warfare and oppression and you don't know. You Sometimes you have all... This is, it can cause by having your own doctrine. 
all that too the devil a lot of the times feed them with that information you understand some people whether or not by traditional local culture they do the acts deliberately sometimes or ignorantly they don't even know some people use rings they use amulet they use jewelry to inform and nowadays the latest thing the, the, the god ring gets so pronounced that they're even singing about it on the radio and it's a big thing they have the necklaces they load it up i i have done deliverance on people who their, their boyfriends give them jewelry and the jewelry loaded and the women don't know that the jewelry loaded you understand loaded of what loaded <laughs> spirits oh i'm sorry let me explain oh ex my God. <laughs> they cursed it they they were they were they, they did some ritual was done some offering so that these women cannot leave them so that these women their souls are impacted so, so, that are okay. so that they have soul tie so you can't get rid of them like that i remember one person when the holy spirit pointed out that it was a jewelry and the person get rid of the jewelry let me tell you something man the thing near the thing actually even had the name of the man the name of the man you understand and the thing spoke to the person as well we have to be so the demon, demon stop anyway once they get into a body they can they can talk and persons who are mediums who have gifts they can see hear, and spirits can talk to them and you can hear their voice too at the same time it's a complicated thing the spiritual world is very diverse there's no way you can understand all of it before you leave this earth it's it's a it's diverse and it's more active than what we even see here you understand but what god said is the root cause of evil is a lack of love and god is love and what we need to do is to choose a side to serve you understand if we exercise first corinthians 13 then we won't we won't um work evil on our friends and our family now here is what i'm going to do i am going to cut this introduction to spiritual warfare part and i'm going to go to the animation yeah just because i know persons tune in because they wanted to know about animation so we can always go back to the introduction to spiritual warfare, right? I will uh, pick up, remind me next week to pick up from that section, right? Right? Introduction to spiritual warfare, where we go through the whole iniquity. Fortunately, two weeks ago, we did an introduction to witchcraft. We didn't go through all this PowerPoint, but I can even do a private um, teaching and put it up for you to get, all right? So I'm just going through it. We have a lot to cover. I believe maybe if we spend a Saturday and we have several hours to spare, we can do it. Yes, two. because we actually just have 10 minutes now. For we can go up to 12, we can go up to 12.30, but I'm gonna see how quickly I can just do technology. It's not a New lot. New York time? Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let me skip you quickly. <laughs> Let me skip you quickly. All right, trying to come through quickly. So we have, we have keys, we have spiritual principles, the basic spiritual principles. Some of the things you can do is to go and download that manual I say that is on the Thinkific site. And that will help you to have some ideas about the principle, about activating the word of God, repentance and forgiveness, the importance of knowing the word, the importance. Ooh, what's going on? The importance of. The importance of taking communion. Something is happening here. Communion in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cover this thing right now. Yeah. So the importance of, of communion as well. Knowing about the battle plan as well. So something is happening here. It don't want me to go into technology. Ooh, wait, so so what we're going to go to technology we're going to go oh, we spend two hours on it next week if we if we can get there <laughs> oh, we don't have a lot on technology we have more oh. we have more on things like protecting yourself fighting and all of that okay. what i did for the technology is just basic warning um and then the stories so what i can do is to leave the main stories for next week and next week i can go into prayer fervent prayer the importance of of fervent prayer and some prayers that we use oh here, here we are. are here we are part two terms of warfare when we go into fervent prayer that is where we see 
um, things very, very, very effective and impactful and angels are fighting on our behalf and so forth. And uh, one of the reasons I know the Lord said we were to do this because of what was happening to our children. Our children are being impacted by technological warfare severely. Their minds are being controlled by mind-binding spirits. I'm hearing the Lord speak right now. My children are being severely impacted by spiritual warfare. A lot of the fights that we're seeing in the schools happening, a lot of the a lot of the division that we see happening is because of these spirits that are impacting the mind of our children and causing hatred. So this is not on my slide. This is the this is the Holy Spirit speaking to me that just said that a while ago. All right. So in a nutshell, he's saying that the children are being impacted and it's causing a lot of agitation as well as the altars that are erected on the school component in the communities. A lot of them feed. A lot of them feed. A lot of them were impacted because they are school communities and they use the children. They use even the souls of the children. They use the activities that the children engage in, including the sexual activities. Sexual activities, he says, these things actually uh, cause spiritual rights and spiritual gateways and portals when altars are built, when, when you have sex, when you get raped, when these things happen in a certain environment, access points and open doors happen, right? And then other chapter, yeah, and then he's saying our culture as well, our cultural heritage is actually influencing what is happening with these children as well. And it's a career cut of ocean and it's coming like norm nowadays. The children are addicted to not just the television and the sexual content, they're addicted to the violence, he says, they're addicted to the animation. And some of them, the toys that we are giving them, the programming, he says, that is associated with the toys. The rituals that are done over these things. Mighty God, even the things like here. Things that are dedicated to other gods are impacting them. They have evil. This, this might not be technology, but they use technology to, to, to process the here. So the things that are impacting us, he says, things dedicated to other gods, even those things are impacting our children. You wonder how? Go to Luke, go to Luke 8, verse 28 to 30, or Mark 5 speaks about demons entering into other living things, such as pigs, and God cast the demons out. The demons out of the pig. Sorry, Luke ate the demon out of the pig, but Mark 5 is the man who was living in amongst the grave, right? That had the, hold on. It's the same lesions. Same, le yeah. He casted it. He casted it out of the man who was hiding and the demon wanted to talk and expose him and he said, mm -mm, you know, and he got run out of town. So Luke 8 verse 28 to 30, Mark 5 as well speaks about it. So here I'm just highlighting some of the devices that are portals, by the way. Technological warfare includes the use of technological devices to enable physical attacks. Like just like how cyber attacks um, will allow viruses and trojans to destroy data and so forth. With spiritual warfare, it destroys the information in your brain. It destroys your thoughts. It destroys how you think. It destroys how you act. It destroys your emotions. It attacks your body. You won't know because it's invisible. You understand? You get arrows in your head. You watch witchcraft. You watch these cartoons that have Ocus Pocus as a Kazam. Magicians, uh, uh, genies, and you don't know what type of code is in these things that are being said. And the children end up getting impacted that way. It is warfare where the transference of spirit is done through electronic devices that are in fact called portals. You have to seal the portals, he said. But even then, it is hard because he's saying right now that some devices come loaded. Remember, we used the term loaded a while ago as it pertains to jewelry. Now, he's saying that some devices come loaded, meaning that they are they are they already have things attached to them. Mighty God, oh, oh does something that is not activated come loaded? Only God know. Maybe they put a witchcraft spell on it. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I heard. Some of the things come loaded. Some of the toys that we give the children that have things on it, making noise. Some of these things come loaded. So we have our phone, we have our telephones, we have our TV, we have our laptop. He's saying, be careful 
be alert because the adversary is attacking our children and many of them will not live because of what is happening. We have to protect our children. And I'm hearing him mention the word dragons. Very prevalent, he says. Dragons are very prevalent and they are destroying our children. They are ominous creatures and they are about shatter, they oppress and they will consume. So we have to be careful about what is happening with these serpents and dragons. So portals, here's an example of a portal. It's an access point, an opening, a doorway in the realm of the spirit. It can be a physical space, but it's in the realm of the spirit we're talking about, used by demons, or it can be used by human spirits that astro project. All right? So skipping through, remember it impacts your heart, which consists of your mind, your will, your emotion. You, you will do things and don't know that you do it if something impacts your mind. You understand? Your emotions, you, you will feel suicidal, depressed, angry. Have all these emotions and you don't understand why. A snake wrap up around you. A siren talking to you want you to, to feel sexually engaged or something because a marine spirit is talking to you. You know, I say, <laughs> listen, let me tell you something. It is, it, is, it is serious times. If we as adults get impacted, why wouldn't our children get impacted? And, and if we can get so addicted to technological devices, what so much more about our children? Our children are scrolling through YouTube. And, and there are many unscrupulous persons on YouTube who put up videos pretending as if it is children. Children safe, child safe. But next thing you know, the child going through and some pop-up come and it looked like a cartoon and next thing you know some sexual activity something perverse is happening we have to be so careful because what they see and and and, and they're not just seeing there's witchcraft at, um, attached to a lot of these things and it lured them it lured them to get curious and it lured them to be attached to these things and oh he said mm, remember our soul we have to renew our mind and renew our mind daily and they are not that experienced to know that they have to renew their mind with the washing of the word he's saying they don't know that even though some adults have a problem with that much just the children you understand our soul is like a big re video recorder it programs it access it stores where they're going to remember the things and some of the things that they need to know is going to be erased. Some of the things that you're teaching them, they will not learn. It will corrupt the values that you're teaching them. You're trying to teach them values, things about love, how to care for others. And they're watching negative things that are turning them in the opposite direction. So just like when you have a cyber attack on your computer, they get a technological attack and it impacts their soul. And it's going to impact their future and their prosperity, says the Lord. It will eat them up just like this creature here you see eating up the computer. We have to be careful the music they listen to. Because the music have code as well. Not just the words, but also the music that is written, the music that is being played. Music. Some music you play backwards, you will hear different things in it. So we have to be careful. Music's dedicated to their gods, I'm hearing. Music dedicated to their gods, Baphomet will give them money. We have to be so careful. We see the prosperity of these people. And you think it is just because they're buying the music. No, sometimes the reason why they're buying the music is because they're hypnotized. Hypno hypnosis, I'm hearing right now. The reality, another shatter. A lot of persons, a lot of youths, they are being led to buy this music because of what? The spirits that are attached to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm Jesus. I'm hearing something playing over and over and over again. It's like it will put you in a trance. Sediating type music, something like when we watch TV and you see persons are being hypnotized. That's what I just heard a while ago. Jesus. You understand? So we don't understand what they're watching and what they're listening, but this is what is happening to them, you say. Right? It, 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 so, so some of these things introduce them to idolatry from early. So by the time they leave high school, by the time they become an adult, they don't want to hear anything about God. They don't want to hear anything about the soul. You understand? They're already indoctrinated, not just by the teachers, but by what they're watching, by the things they're hearing, by the news, by different ways of life. So you are the only person as the parent talking to them about values and attitudes and the past that they don't want to hear from you because the entire world is going in a different way so we have to pray for our children he's saying we have to be prepared because it's getting harder and harder for them to come back to him and i don't i'm hearing him say the song heart of worship bring them to a heart of worship we're going to have to teach the children about the power of true worship not just worship where we go and stand up in devotion and somebody talk to them 
but we're going to have to cover what children in devotion lift up their hands to receive the power of God to cleanse them. He and that abortion that he's saying. He's going to have to be doing deliverance in the schools. We need our teams, he's saying, to go into our schools to deliver our children. And just like how we are lifting up our hands right now, prophetically, says the Lord, so will the children need to lift up their hands when we go on the ground to enter schools to pray for them so they can fall on the anointing so that they can get it into the deliverance process are going to be foaming for oh, jeez i'm rolling on the ground there's so many not just demonic altars but they have encounters even sexually with demons god of mercy jesus even emotion i'm hearing the lesbianism is very pronounced as well because of spirits mighty god spiritual warfare is causing perversion upon the land all over me pure goosebumps right now mighty god the demonic characters in the games and the magic he says is dangerous the watching and listening of the ads and what they're teaching will cause open door there is nothing new under the sun see worship me mighty god whatever you want will be yours if you worship me the, you know that you know that you know the devil came to to jesus and tempted jesus just like what Baphomet is saying in, in, in the Illuminati, if you serve me, I will give you all the money. Look on Christians, they're not only for money, them fighting. And, and, and the devil came to Jesus and said, This is what I'll give you if you worship me. And Jesus said, It is written, man shall not live. You understand? By bread alone, but out of every word that comes from, from God. So you have to know the word to be able to defeat the devil. And you and, and don't associate with the signs. Remember the story I told you about I saw the spirit of death. Because of signs like these, you see the pentagram, you don't know what it means. You don't realize it's associated with the goat. We, we have all sorts of hand signs we make when we're taking pictures and we're associating. This is an after-school club. The after-school club of Satan, my God. He, huh? We have to be so careful. Alert your children. Test the spirits. Test the spirit of the teachers. Test the spirit of, of the persons who they associate with, even the children, because there are children involved in witchcraft. Your, your child's friend might be a little witch or warlock and you don't know. You don't know what they're doing in their, in their household, what they're practicing, especially new age. We have to be so careful. And he's saying, no, you see the hand gestures, people are posing. Look, here are some more from famous idols and stars. You don't know if they're doing it by phone or if they're associated with a group. But what we do know is that these hand signs are negative in the realm of the spirit. So don't do it don't do it and don't you ever call yourself a demon like one artist that we have here don't associate it's not pretty it's not cute if in the realm of the spirit you ever see a demon someone over who mess up on yourself because when you can't believe you understand do not do it you're putting yourself at risk this is a major influencer now who is running the place and look at what he's promoting perversion feminism corruption um in terms of values what we have been teaching our, our children right and and his videos they are, they are wild they are way out there right and he's and, and the song that he sing the first song that he sang that really made it little children love it because it's talking about the cowboy and you're riding all these things and you think it's something innocent when you don't understand it has sexual perversion involved in it you understand look at the picture the image there luciferianism it's promoting it's a serious time we have to wake up and tell our children about it listen to me i know what spiritual warfare is i've had family member impacted by spiritual warfare i have seen demonic characters walk into my house there are things that i i i, I tell my children don't watch and sometimes they disobey just the same here is one cartoon the old house tell your children don't watch it the old house influencers Teen Titans all the time. I tell them, don't watch Teen Titans. You see this one in Gravity Falls with the eye seen all, eye all over it all the time. I said, don't watch Gravity Falls. You understand? But you see things like rebellion and disobedience is an open door. And children don't understand. When they disobey your parents, Ephesians 6, you understand? Verse 3, honor your mother, your father, listen to me. So your days will belong on the earth. When you don't honor your mother, your father, it's going to impact your life. You understand? Gravity Falls. These are extremely dangerous, although they look innocent. Hades, Maleficent. Maleficent is the witch that is in Snow White. I saw her into my house. She and uh, another spirit 
two years ago, she and Buffermit entered my house. And when they left my house, the, uh, let me tell you something. I, I was in shock when I saw her. I was like, you're really real for you? Like, I thought you were a cartoon character. And I, I, I was just like in shock to see that she was a spirit. You understand? Um, I'm telling you, certainty, stay away from it. The movie, stay away from it. Here it is. He looks, he looks different in the realm of the spirit. He has something on his head, but it's not fire. It's a, a funny looking cap he has in the realm of the spirit. But his face is long like what you're seeing right now. If you really want to be with him, then you can serve him. But if you don't want to experience the real him, then give your life to Jesus. There are many who want to serve him like the, the other ones who sold, sold him soul. If you want to sell a soul and serve, go right ahead. But I'm telling you, what is there? No pretty. Poseidon, um, Marine Kingdom, real is a god, right? Zeus is a, they are gods. So you have regular demon, you have gods. Gods are like powers, high, 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 higher than Belzebub, blood of the flies and these people, high. Um, Poseidon is the god of the sea, right? His son is, is Triton, right? So Triton is the father of the little mermaid, okay? Deep, serious creatures, they will use their trident and they do, they do marine witchcraft marine witchcraft there's a whole big city and and family under the sea with sirens and nirids and these things are serious in, in december boxing day i thought i was having some heart issue and when a friend of mine called to pray what i saw in the realm of the spirit was a eel and a merman the merman with the trite with the trident impacting my heart i'm telling you i had to lie down because i thought something more serious wrong with my heart to see that it was spiritual attack so you have to be alert and be in prayer. Then the experience with Zeus, that was eye-opening to me because I'm like, these are these are things we learn about in mythology, in history, and literature, English literature. And I thought it was just cute. You understand? Remember, you know, not all of them that we read about are bad. They have good characters too, right? But these gods like Zeus and Pisces and Diana, Athena, they are definitely fallen angels, fallen angels will come down with Lucifer and they do have a council. So there is a lot that you don't know. Don't play with them. Don't buy them ties. Don't, don't support them. They are not made of characters by these shows, by these, these animation um, plays. They are actual spirits that exist many, many years ago. If you go back into history, you will find out that Zeus and Poseidon, there are statues all over the world in Spain and in Europe with them. When you go to the Bible, you will see that in the Bible they were talking about in um we are calling like what are the places uh, places like Corinth and those places, Asia Minor. In Asia Minor, they used to worship those gods. So if you go to Roman history, you will see there were Roman gods, but they have a different name. So, like I think Zeus is Jupiter for the Romans and Pisces and is Neptune or something like that. Neptune. So it's the same gods, but a different name. If you watch SpongeBob, you will hear them talk about Neptune all the time. Neptune, I got Neptune in SpongeBob. Hello, SpongeBob, you know. Not SpongeBob. My babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> SpongeBob, but when you look on one of the buildings in SpongeBob, you see the word Poseidon, Poseidon in, in um in, in it as well. You know, me, me watch me love Sponge. I'll tell you that's one of my favorite cartoons. I don't see SpongeBob doing magic in it though but they give honor to their gods so you know we have to be careful because sometimes when we watch things we become in alignment with it and we attract things to ourselves so we have to be so careful. one of uh spongebob main line is oh neptune all the time neptune same mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. is uh, poison on his neptune so you go look it up you mm -hmm. see um um this one no no i didn't even have this in mind but while i was preparing my slides the holy spirit told me this word this one this cartoon so I looked it up and he said, he spoke about the dragon and there was an issue with this because of the demons in the, 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 the one on the top right there. He says, Chinese mythology and talisman, they're an issue. And the serpent, the eternal dragon, and it, you have to be careful. This cartoon right here with the dragon, serious thing. Right, the other one is Shendu, very oppressive, demonic Lucifer. Is I'm hearing right now, Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. This reptile here is saying we have to be careful what we're watching. 
and the Kardashian that about very powerful. He says, says very powerful cartoon. Very Amavianam animated witchcraft. Very far, very powerful. We have to be careful. I right? me love cartoons, you know, but boy, I me mean, you don't even know what to watch these days. We just have to be careful. He's saying we have to be careful. So you have a choice if you want to watch it or not. I am not telling you not to watch it. I'm telling you what the Holy Spirit tell me and what is out there to be careful, right? To be careful because of what is associated with these things. Listen again. Be careful. Go through and vet the cartoons yourself and approve. See what you can approve for your children to watch and you tell them why it's dangerous. I can tell you this. Somebody very close to me got, uh, there was a spirit that impacted the person because they were, they were playing a game from they were little and I did not know that. When the demon started to talk and the demon said, why is it that you're trying to, um, why is it that you're trying to impact, to, to get rid of me now when I've been here from X, Y, and Z, right? I didn't know that the person, it thinks, no, 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 listen to me, man. Why you don't want me to go further? <laughs> you don't want me to expose the others that are there, right? Um, mm -hmm, Right? Took all a little bit. <laughs> all right. You don't, you, don't, you don't want me to go any further. So I'm going to stop right there and pray. Right? So we're finishing in the next 15 minutes. And we're going to have to pray for the children, not just in Jamaica, but just pray for children in general. Right? I had probably about three more slides left. And all of a sudden, it will allow me to go any further. So we have to be so careful. There, they, they, um, there were some persons here. If, if I didn't have it since... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, we have to be alert. We have to be careful what we let our children sit and watch, what we leave our babies, because things like, you know, any little thing with magic, even those basic kiddie cartoon, you see, abracadabra, those things that says the word kingdom in it, once it have to do with the kingdom of light, anything that you see have magic and Merlin and witches in it and so forth, don't give them, let them watch it. No. Cancel and nullify the powers. There, 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 was a, there was a show that have the word charm on it. And every time I see even the advertisement come up on that with that show, I can't look on the TV because it's like I'm literally seeing forces with the shows. We have to be so careful what we watch. So I'm just asking you to just cover yourselves. Father, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for your mercy, your truth and life. Lord, we ask you to just cover your people who are watching this broadcast cover the children who are watching the, the, the technology, who are using the technology for entertainment, for fun and for learning, Lord. Lord, we're putting the children across the globe before you right now. We're calling upon your angels, Lord, to intercede on the behalf of your children across the world, to deliver them from spiritual warfare, technological warfare, technological spirits, Lord. Things that come through cartoons, through animation, things through music, through the games that they're play, play, per, playing. Mighty God, open their eyes and their ears to the truth. Mighty God, show them the importance of being obedient to the leaders, to their parents, to their teachers, to their ministers, and to your word, Lord. Deliver them. Lead them through the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Mighty God, we give all victory and all honor and glory to you. Who is like the Lord? There is nothing high in the heavens, nor nothing low below the earth or on this earth that can supersede you, that is strong like you, that can be compared to you. Who is like the Lord? You are light, you are love. We glorify your name, mighty God. We thank you for your angels that are in our midst right now. We thank you, mighty God, that you make us our hands to warn our fingers to fight. We thank you, mighty God, that the enemy is under your feet, that the rabashi and the rabashandai, re in the rabashandai, re ki and the rabashandai, that the entire enemy's kingdom, the kingdom, is under your feet. Mighty God, while we are here on this earth and we have to live amongst the ki ataya, the spiritual realm, and those in the natural who engage in the dark side we pray that your blood mighty god will cover us your armor will cover us that there will be no breach in our armor mighty god and that the gates of hell will not prevail over us 
Fight against those that fight against your children and against their families. Take up shield and butler and comfort to their help. Even now, Father, remove every spear, every arrow, every dart, every weapon that has been sent to your children, to their minds, Lord, to their brains. Every virus, mighty God, every bacteria, everything from the subatomic kingdom. We speak healing to your children. Even now, we say healing is the children bread by the stripes of Jesus Christ that they are healed from mind binding. We say we command every mind binding spirit to go right now. We command, we command the spirit of Neptune. We command the spirit of witchcraft, mighty God. Every mind binding spirit, every necromancy spirit. We cancel we cancel X and spells. We cancel curses sent to our children, even sent to us as adults, mighty God, to impact our mind. Oh, Kadadi Teki, Nandaraba, Sundu, Rebe, Kiandaraba, Reki and Derebe, Riendorabo, Shiendaraba, Sandai, Reki and Derabo, Shiendaraba, Babosha. Oh God, send your angels into our homes right now, mighty God. Let them expel from their bodies, mighty God, the things that have been implanted in them. Raki and Daraba Sanda Yakondorobo, nullify Yandaraba Siende, nullify the powers, the powers, the powers, the powers against them, the powers of darkness. We nullify, we say everything that exalts itself against the Lord, be bound and cancelled in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, you are our light and our salvation. Who shall we fear, mighty God? Though the wicked are robo, she and Daraba Sanda, mighty God, they stumble and they fall, Lord. Lord, we shall be whole and see it. The wicked fall before us, mighty God. Ikata, Raba, Baba, Baba, Shukutu, Niata, Yekutu, Yekepa. Mighty God, if they make up me, say, Lord. Lord, 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 we command those portals, the devices, the computers, the tablets, the phone, the television, that the portals be sealed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And any portal, any device where the portal refuses to seal, we command that that device crash in the name of Jesus so the children can get them breakthrough and be freed. Yeah, Every dragon impacting your children, everything from the animal kingdom, toys. My God, we nullify the effects of the toys. We nullify the effects. Our evil spirit husband and spirit wives attached to these children from early perverse spirits sent mighty God to cause confusion and gender issues on our children, even through toys and through these games. Mighty God, every bird we shoot down that is not of God. Bird with flight in flight, bird with wings. My God, the money birds land the end. I kundulu shienda randi and dandi and die. Ricky and Daraba Sandai. We say we call upon the sword of the spirit that is sharper than every two edged sword to cut off and sever the heads of these creatures. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover the mighty God. Cover the mighty God. And for your people, Lord, those who are in your kingdom, those who are leading to you, mighty God, we reverse, we reverse. Reverse and we nullify every secret agreement, every secret, every hidden plan done by the enemy to get our children involved in secret societies and to send their soul. Many were trapped ignorantly. We destroy the traps of the enemy even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We destroy, I'm seeing nets. We destroy nets in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We destroy mazes in the name of Jesus. Every maze sent to cause confusion to our children and to trap them in their own minds. We destroy by the 
the fire of God. We kusak me and I. They say we use the sledgehammer of God to knock down the walls of the maze in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth so your children can come out of the maze. Rescue their souls, oh God, from the pit. Hear their cry, oh Lord. Attend unto their voice. Mandi andi kunishien yanai. Riende yo kuturo shiende. Riende andi ende de boshai. Oh mighty God, we know that you want your children even now. Kikatayaka to serve you. Rescue them, mighty God, from the pit so that they can serve you. Rescue them, mighty God. Robo si yanda la basanda yakunda en yandai. So that they can serve you, mighty God. Every strange eye, Raba Sundo, impacting our children. Be blind now in the name of Jesus and be burned by the fire of God. We kutu iata ikata yekete iato yeketa. Enough is enough, says the Lord. Enough is the Lord. Those who fight against my children fight against me. I'm seeing something with a woman's body and with wings like a dragon right now. We kushi iki na uto si mandi kutu shikiti no of i'm hearing fiery every fiery kutu sekata mande lolo shata sent to destroy our children be kuti asandai be destroyed now in the name of jesus christ everything from magical kingdom goals goals and gargoyles and yand yand i yundu nushi nak yand i rakataya ribiende Mighty God, let go the souls, those souls that are trapped in the realm of the spirit. We kutuye kata. We command you to release them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let go debe kusundu re indandiandai re indaraba. Those souls access true dreams. Be released now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We kutu debo shata. Me say ye kutuye ba 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 ushi ende. Portals in which you access those souls return the article to Yeketa Monday now in the name of Jesus. Mikushi and the Kandai Indai will call upon the angels of the Lord, the King Chang Chang Chai, Yun Chung Cheng Chang Chai, Yong Cheng Chung Ching Chang, Yang Cheng Ching Chang Chong, Yang Cheng Chong Cheng Chang Chai, Yang Chung Cheng Cheng Chang Chai, Yong Chong Cheng Cheng Chang, Yong Chong Cheng Cheng Cheng. Yen Cheng Chong Cheng Chai, Yen Ching Chong Ching Ching Chai, Yen Tong Cheng Chang Chang, Yen Ching Chong Cheng Chai, Yong Do Yin Shang Tai Yin Chong Ching, Yong Cheng Chang Ching Ching Chai. We destroy in the name of Jesus the altars and the shrines, the gongs and the ancient things that are used against our children. We say release them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rong Sheng Tang Sheng Tang. Every shrine, every altar, every atai in Sheng Tai, Yin Chong Cheng. Chang, Yin Cheng Chang Chang, Yong Chong Ching Chang. They are not serving your God. They are my people, says the Lord. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Ekata Yokoto, Yekete Yakata, Yen Cheng, Yen Chong Cheng, Yong Chang Cheng Chang, Yen Cheng Chong Chai, Yen Cheng Cheng Chang Chung, Yen Ching Chung Chung Chai, Yen Cheng Chong Cheng Chai, Yen Cheng Chang, Yong Chong Cheng Chai. Yong Cheng 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 Chai, Yong Chong Cheng Chai. Behold, we shall see the reward of the wicked, says the Lord. I will destroy your high places, says the Lord. I will destroy your shrines, Ekatiata, and your totem poles, says the Lord. I will nullify Erabasanda, everything that you have done for my children. My children are suffering. My children are suffering. My children are being harmed. My children don't know themselves. My children are being confused because of you says the Lord. No more oppression. No more pain. We nullify Ekatayata. We call you back into your bodies. We call you into your right mind. Well, God did not give you a spirit of fear. God gave you love, power. God gave you a sound mind. God gave you control self-control and we say right now let the mind that is in christ jesus be in the children of god those children who have been assigned roles to be remnant warriors to be ministers to be prophets to be evangelists to be apostles we call the that are being bound now in the name of jesus we declare freedom 
We call upon even no reinforcement and we say the kutu rakatiata. We say the Lord mighty God it ni asanda make it rich and it no sorrow. We kutu reandi and die. We say we call upon even the joy of the Lord to be the strength for these children right now. Almighty God, we pray for support that they will be sent. Destiny help us with the word of God inside of them. I am seeing a goat. It's a little goat. More look like more look like a she goat to me than a he goat. But every goat, every bell, every bell God, every bell God, where children were sacrificed to in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we destroy your altars with the sledgehammer of God, and we sever your head with the sword of the Spirit of God, gods of Baal, God Rabasata, Moloch Amolek, Yadiashota, every sacrifice done in the realm of the Spirit by children, Robo Shanda, Rikiandai, Rokondo Robo Shata, we call back our children, Yana Yedo Shi. In there, yeah, no, no, oh, Shataya, to come into their right minds now and to act according to the word of God because you have sound minds. The blessing of the Lord make it rich and add it no sorrow. Be kushunduru shanda. Walk in joy. Walk in strength. Walk in victory today. Robo and I, knowing that the God you serve loves you. Honor your appearance, Kitio Ndoro Shandai. Give thanksgiving to the Lord, Yanda Rabba Sandai. Trust and worship Him and watch your life change. Stop watching those animated characters with demons, says the Lord. Let it go, Sandai. Honor my word and ask me things. Call out to me and I will answer. And I will show you great and mighty things, says the Lord. There is no reason to want to go serve Jupiter. There is no need for all of that curiosity that is leading you into trouble, says the Lord. Like you in that ocean. I've seen horns right now. Big long horns. Rio no china principalities and powers, rulers in high places, in the name of Jesus. Yo kute esiandai, rokunduroshi, rakandai. We come with the instructions of the Lord tonight. And we say every child of God whose children and innocent children with purpose, we know that this is war and we now negotiate, says the Lord. Let my people go, says the Lord. Pharaoh, let my people go, says the Lord. Tonight, it is, and, you know, no, 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 no. Tonight is a night of justice and vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. I will repay, says the Lord. Vengeance is mine. I will repay for what you have done to my children in Jamaica and across the world. What you have done to the innocent through the use of the wicked. Who have even designed these things to destroy my children in this war against soul. So in this time, mighty God, let it go, Shiana, for those who have gotten deliverance, mighty God, we rejoice for those children. And we speak, mighty God, renewed mind, renewed spirit, renewed newness into their lives. We pray, mighty God, that they will, their eyes will be opened up, mighty God, to hearing and learning more about you, mighty God. We know victory is always yours, mighty God. And as you have promised that you will avenge those who hurt them, you will avenge all those who have risen up against them, who have come against their purpose and have hurt them physically and spiritually oh god we thank you for your revelations today mighty god as you continue to pour out into your people and to reveal truth lord forgive us of our sins right now mighty god please repent mighty god for all sins known and unknown continue to cleanse mighty god we pray today that there will be no retaliation from this intercession and from this teaching we pray that many will be delivered and souls will be saved and that people will give their life to the Lord. And if there is anyone on this broadcast tonight who does not know Jesus Christ, who would like to accept Jesus Christ as Lord, just repeat and say, Dear Lord, I believe that you died on the cross, Jesus, for my sins. 
I repent of all sins, mighty God, known and unknown, and I ask you to forgive me. Come into my heart today. I choose you to be Lord of my life. Send your Holy Spirit to teach me, please, and give me the gifts of the Spirit, Lord. I ask you humbly so that I can walk in your ways and I can help others and to bring glory to your name. You will always be glorified in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. We thank you for joining us tonight. We thank you so much for all those who sacrificed their time. Our speaker in the first segment, Alicia, our, 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 our partner here, my maid of steadfast, who is really sacrificed tonight to be with us. We pray that you will have a wonderful night. You will sleep well. Thank you, Mickey. I didn't know you were on. I hope you learned something, right? Next week, we will try to go through the middle of the presentation that was missed and whatever else the Lord says we need to talk about because it's his show and he's the one who directs this program. Keep me in your prayers. Keep the ministry in your prayers because the, the, the enemy has been trying hard to prevent purpose from coming forward. The enemy doesn't want the, the ministry to go where it's to go, but God is God and he'll always be God. So we, we can't have too much prayer. So I'm asking you, Mickey, and the others here who always support to keep myself and all associates and destiny helpers um, in prayer because destiny must prevail. And it's always a pleasure to serve. I love to, to, to share with you. I love to share what God has taught me and the experiences and to even pray for you. So if you continue to fast when you fast, Remember me and the team, you know, all of us here, all of us here, we work together. We're a part of one big army, the army of God that is global. So we even invite you to join us, to join us offline for fasting and prayer as well. Um, so you're invited to join us. Send me an email if you would like to get that privilege to join the ministry. It's a ladies ministry primarily. We do help one and two men, but it's primarily a ladies' ministry, and our vision is global. We are here to help the oppressed across the world, and um, we are here to establish God's ministry, to teach the word, to bring deliverance, to heal sick, to set the captives free, to let you know the truth that Reiki and New Age and going into uh, into Wiccan, those those things will and shamanism, those things will not help you. You know, get rid of some of the get rid of the negative African cultural things that you have learned and stick to Jesus and what he says in his word. You know, and if you call upon him, he will answer and he'll show you great and mighty things. And he will never leave you or forsake you, even when you go through the hard times. He will never leave you or forsake you. He's always with you and he loves you. I pray that God will cover your dreams and that there will be no open portals, no open doors in your dreams tonight. Mighty God, destroy the plan of the enemy. And I, and I pray that I'll see you again next week, same time, for more. I hope you can go back to that drumming thing that, that's the slide before this, that you drumming want? thing. Drumming. If we can talk something about that. Some, we can speak on that next, oh, yeah. next week. Okay, the impact of the, well. the drumming. Sure. And Pocamina, because that's our culture in Jamaica. Mm. And Junkano. Yeah, I remember these things. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. If you've ever been to one of these sessions, you'll, you'll see that the spirit realm is real because the spirits enter and they exit. You understand? And, and people mm -hmm. perform because of the ancestral worship. And the demons that they usually evoke the spirits include Anubis and Horus and Molech and, and these spirits. So don't pass your children through the fire. Don't engage in these rituals. When you know the truth and you get light, you know, you will realize that the pagan practices are dangerous and you, you, will, you will get attacks. So it's, it's very dangerous. Don't do it. For more on technological warfare, there's a video that is posted on um, Holistic Healing Ministry. You know, there's a video that is there. 
Hmm, apparently, I didn't save it. I had put up a poster. It's called Technological Warfare, the Impact of Technological Warfare on Children, Children Purpose. You, it's a purple, purple poster looking video that is um, posted on our site. Just click and you'll see it and you'll learn more. You'll learn some more about what happened, a case study on what happened in a particular individual. So I thank you so much for joining us tonight. May the Lord bless and keep you and make his face shine upon you, be gracious upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. I hope that you learned a lot today. If you have any customer service questions that you like answer, please free free to type it in the chat or to email because this video is going to be split. So you can email holistichealingja at gmail.com and I'll forward the questions to Alicia or whatever questions I can answer, I'll also answer. Okay, so have a wonderful night. I thank you so much as we go out to the regular little song. See you next week. And remember, there is purpose even in your pain, there is purpose for you. You need, you need to go out and you need to engage in your purpose in this time and season. Life is short. Enjoy it. Have fun. Give your life to the Lord and watch him transform your life. Good night. I'm trying to get off.